focus into and out of. Feel where your shoulders are in comparison to your hips and your feet, okay? Regardless of air bus, step in or lunge, it should be the same, ribs and hips. It's two of each, two to air bus, two to step in, two to lunge of the handstand and the back handspring and the layout, okay? Stretch tall, Katie, tight, low back tight. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze, foot position, remember, back toe into the front heel, slight turnout, heel should be on top of the beam, okay? Both heels directly in the center. One, Shape two, the handstand, low back tight, Tori. Lift, ribs. Okay, don't, the back knee doesn't need to bend when you pull your ribs in. Open shoulders, low backs tight. Step line, quick. Good. Push tall. Jay, she should be doing handstand splits for back walkovers. Flat, key, low back tight. Connect to arms. Turn out, push tall. Ribs in, shoulders up a little more. Shoulders are a little in front. We need that lift a little bit more. Straight line finish. So today on beam, um, we did a lot of our series complex work. Um, we, I felt as a team, were pretty inconsistent this year on beam. Um, and a lot of it is foot placement and body position. So as you saw, um, we're doing lots of handstand work to three different landing positions. One's an arabesque. Um, we're really focusing on the ribs and hip under position um, and that straight line, finding the straight line at the beginning and at the end of all of our skills. Um, and then focusing on air best position, if it's leg up or if it's step in or if it's lunge, that body position, our core should be exactly the same, um, which is a stable, strong position. And anything on beam, because we're working on four inches, so we need to be as narrow as possible and as straight as possible. If we can always reference that straight line into and out of skills, we should be able to move in and out of everything that we're doing. Look at the beam, lift ribs, Push tall, look at the beam, lift ribs. Okay, make sure the left side's working even with the right side, okay? Push, squeeze, seat nabs, line squeeze. Turn out, turn out. Push through handstand, line squeeze. Back foot. Push tall, ribs, ribs, good. We do it from handstand, handstand back handspring, handstand back walkovers. We try to hold the handstand position in the back walkover for handstand control. Everything we do on beam is through a handstand. So if we have that handstand control, that should also help us with our consistency. Push tall, ribs in, low back key. Now connect, feel the line. Ribs, hips, excellent. Nice job. Remember that connection position, if we do it correctly, our shoulders are right where we want to start our back handspring. If we're slow getting there, then we're starting our back handspring forwards. That's not a normal starting position, okay? Come on, connect line. Grace, that's a little bit pikey. Okay, handstand layouts. Stretch tall and go. Back flat, feel the line connect. Lift, hips, ribs. Jay, she missed your connection position. Hop finish. Jace Gogan, Paige Gogan. Come on, hip position, hips under, under, lift. There you go, that's better. You still feel where your shoulders are? A little bit forwards, okay, that's coming from the connection. Get to that straight line position quicker. Okay, step in this time. Ready, stretch, and go. Push tall, good. Lift, step under. This is a step in, not a lunge. And finish. Okay, Jace, I want another one to step in. You can count that one as your lunge since that's what it was. Everybody else, you're on lunge, okay? Lift, step under, Jace, under. Get your back foot all the way in. Get it in. Yes, good, and finish. All right, nice job. 
Okay, back handspring layout. On connection position. First landing is arabesque. Connect. Ribs, hips. Lift, lift, lift. Ribs, ribs. And hop. Finish. Good. Make sure we're watching the beam a little bit more and we're a little more prepared coming into the landing. Okay. All right, now we're going to step in. Hips under T. Squeeze. Get the back foot all the way in. Remember, it's the arabesque and then the step in. Okay, you skip the arabesque part. That's why our feet just landed. Okay, it's got to be a land pull to that line. Okay. Focus on the foot position and the connection. Hips under, ribs in. Eyes on the beam. See it and press. But feel that position all the way in. Look at your feet. Hips under, ribs in, stretching a little bit taller, Jace. Chin up. Chin up. Good. And finish. Remember, a line head is part of that, okay? We're looking with our eyes. We don't need to bury our chin to see the beam, okay? Turn out. Grace, focus on a longer step in. Hips under. Hips under, ribs in. There you go. Good, Jace. Out of the back handspring. Under, ribs. Excellent. Great work. Grace, footwork. Okay, now we got the first one over with. We know we can survive. You're still a little bit fast, okay? When we did all the drill work at the beginning, you felt the handstand step in control, back handspring step in control, okay? That's what we have to feel into the layout. You're trying to put power into it instead of position. Okay, so slow it down and just really feel handstand to that connection line. Do handstand to the arabesque position. Under. No, but that's part of the problem. You're having trouble even just balancing on the one leg. Good job, B. Turn out. Good. Press down. Knee over toe. This. Okay. And then the stepping. Good. Now try that same thing from the back handspring. It doesn't need to go more aggressive. Controlled jump to handstand with that same finish. Squeeze. Sit. Push back. Push. Okay, so why do you feel like that back foot automatically goes to the beam? You're you got to trust it. If you can do it out of a handstand, you can do it out of a back handstand. Okay, come on, Grace. Feel the connection. Push to line. Lift, lift. Good. Just a little bit stronger in the ribs. Okay, yes, good. Excellent. We're trying to get series that are more than two skills in a row. Um, so we're working on getting triple series and things like that. So that connection position from start to finish um, is what we're really focusing on this summer. So hopefully we can get some more three skill series um, for next year. Push, lift. Okay, where'd your head go as soon as your feet were on the ground? Back, what are we working on? Keeping our head between our shoulders, okay? Look at the end of the beam and that'll help. Okay, when you're doing your round off to straight line, you should be finding that position. Work through handstand. Push up. Okay, but where was our handstand position and our line at the end of the round off? Don't just focus on step one, step two, step three. Okay, handstand against the wall. Needle kick at the beginning of the round off. Step to line at the end of the round off and then we've got our big punch. Okay. The double back happens after all of that. We did part of our dismount circuit. Um, we're working on upgrades there as well. Um, and as you could see, we're, we're focusing there on body position too. So we had the handstand against the wall for the middle of the round off. Um, the needle kick with a band getting into that position quickly. And then the finished position of that, which trying to get to whether it's a two foot snap down or a round off finish, we're hitting that line. So again, just lots of um, reinforcement on the line and the position of the hips and the ribs. So. Good key, eyes on the end with your chin up. There you go. Good. That's what I'm trying to get you to feel at the end of the round off, that line, okay? Push through handstand, eyes on the end, open. Okay, that's better. We still wanna see a little bit more open press with the hips, okay? Come on, push through handstand. Lift, good girl. 
Nice job. The punch is great. I want to see the hips getting up. Same thing as for just the candle into the tuck position. Double this time. Yep. You guys may get ready for floor. Excellent job. You're welcome. Floor. Yeah. Girls, finish up. Hayden, you can rotate. Grace, you need to get the handspring, handspring, two feet done. Okay, you need three of those. No. What'd you feel at the end of your round off? But why? Okay, the end of our round off, our feet were in front and this was our hip position. Okay, that's gonna move straight back. Okay, you've gotta apply all that stuff. The needle step to line, that position's the end of the round off. Okay, let's go back and just do a layout. Just go to this station. Come on, Paige. Come on, Paige. My eyes on the end and then candle into the flip. Push up. All right, good try. Nice job. All right, you may get ready for floor. Good work today. You're welcome. Gray, same shoulders. Lift, yes. Feel the difference? Squeeze, hips under, hips and ribs. It's the same thing. There you go, good try. Now that was better with the round off and the foot placement. You just didn't work the hips into the flip quite enough, okay? Good job.